We're here because cancer doesn't care. Cancer doesn't care that you're the manager of a winning baseball team. Cancer doesn't care that you're a mother of three children. Cancer doesn't care that you're a five-year-old and you've been diagnosed with leukemia or glioblastoma. Cancer doesn't care that you just pitched a perfect game or that you're the star of a television series or the anchor of Good Morning America. Cancer doesn't care that I beat it once and now I have to fight it again. But I'll tell you who does care. Major League Baseball cares and the San Diego Padres care. We are so thrilled to be here today to launch the first Major League Baseball team to step up the, to the plate and join Major League Baseball as a whole with their very own initiative to raise money for Stand Up to Cancer. Let me tell you a little bit why you should care. You should care because one in two men and one in three women in this country will be diagnosed with cancer. 1,500 Americans die every single day from this disease. That's 9-11 every other day. That's one person a minute. That's 1.5 million Americans are diagnosed with a new cancer every year. But I'll tell you the good news. There are over 11 million cancer survivors in this country. Stand Up to Cancer is about making every single person who's diagnosed with cancer a survivor. And the Padres are helping us do that. So let me tell you a little bit about what you're looking at. This is our up to wall. It's up to you, it's up to me, it's up to all of us. Here are the two things that Stand Up to Cancer stand for. One is to make it clear that every single person in this country is impacted by this disease. This must become a first tier issue. Dealing with curing cancer, preventing cancer, making cancer a disease you can live with, this has to be a priority. When you sign this wall, you make a statement who you're standing up for and why you're standing up. If you choose to also make a donation, 100% of donations from the public go to fund and accelerate cancer research. What we do that's different from any other cancer organization is really twofold. One, we make scientists work together. We make them compete against the disease of cancer instead of against each other. So we fund dream teams of scientists across institutions and across disciplines and impacting all kinds of cancer. That research is underway. We've already raised over $100 million and we're spending it and we will tell the public how it's being spent, what progress is being made. And we also fund innovative research. And the second thing that we do, as I said, is we will tell you where your money goes. If you put a dollar in that box, you will hear from us on our website and through the media what your money is going to pay for. Cancer affects everybody, as Laura said. And what Stand Up to Cancer has done is created dream teams of researchers from around the world. And when the head of the pancreatic cancer dream team got up at the owners meetings and said, and I quote, for the first time, we're not competing against each other, we're competing against the disease. It was too compelling not to get involved. Jeff and I decided we have to do something and I think uh, sent out a note to Major League Baseball through Commissioner Seelig's initiative uh, with the first $10 million donation to Stand Up to Cancer. Stand Up to Cancer has now raised over $100 million and we're proud to be associated now and be the first team uh, to get involved. You know, uh, our mission is focused on three things and that's uh, winning, first of all, creating a great fan experience and being involved in the community. We think that this initiative helps demonstrate what we're trying to do in the community through our Live, Learn, Play initiative. Certainly this falls under the Live category. Uh, this reality about cancer, the reality that it hits everybody, hit home for us uh, recently when one of our own, Dave Roberts, was diagnosed with Hod Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, he couldn't be here today, but, uh, but all of our thoughts are with Dave, and Dave and his wife Tricia have been an inspiration to all of us through their determination, their positive attitude, and, and Dave's gonna, gonna fight through this and be fine, and we're, we're just behind him 110% as an organization. 
Longtime bull, Padres bullpen catcher and cancer survivor, Mark Morellis here, Mark. With his wife, Wendy, and their children. And uh, Mark's story is one of true perseverance for everybody and inspiring to all of us. His triumph over this disease, he was diagnosed with and successfully treated for a brain tumor in 1994 and again in 2005. Thank you for being here, Mark. The walls you see behind me, as Laura said, are representative of, uh, of, of how it affects everybody. And, and as she said, we have a goal to set out and raise over a half a million dollars for Stand Up to Cancer this year, 100% of which will go directly to those researchers to fight the disease. And if you put a buck in the bucket, or 20 bucks in the bucket, or whatever you feel like putting in there and sign a name up there, these panels will be here all year, and uh, when they get filled up, we'll take them down and put up new blank ones. At the end of the year, the last two games of the year, we're going to replace the entire outfield wall with these panels, and it'll be quite a visual. And then hopefully we fill up more than the outfield wall can take, and we end up putting them all over the ballpark, because uh, we anticipate a lot of people to come through here and sign those walls and put money in those buckets. Fans are also invited to lend their support to Stand Up to Cancer with donations through in-game text messages, online giving at standuptocancer.org or through donation bins you see behind me. I'd like to take the opportunity now as well to acknowledge our corporate partners who've been so supportive in this effort. You know, they, they sponsor us and they spend money to put their names up on that wall and they've been generous enough to allow us to take their names down to put Stand Up to Cancer up, up there. They've also made the, the first pledges and donations to the effort. And uh, Sony, Wells Fargo, Cox, Geico, and Double X 1090 and his family of stations for their strong and continued partnerships. And I think this is a great demonstration of their partnership with the San Diego Padres and their commitment to us, as, uh, to, to uh, the community as well. Now for a few words, it's, it's my real pleasure and honor to, uh, to introduce to you uh, someone that I've been a big fan of for a long time. Please welcome Stand Up to Cancer Celebrity and Ambassador, star of Field of Dreams and Goodfellas, Mr. Ray Liotta. Thank you. Uh, I'm not used to speaking, so I, I got involved with this. I feel like really emotional. I lost my mother to cancer while I was uh, shooting Goodfellas, uh, right in the middle of the movie. So uh, it just means a lot to be a part of it. I met Laura at uh, some silly celebrity party. Uh, but I got to talking to her, and she told me about it, what happened to her, and, and I had been through it. And I, I would gather, gather to say that, uh, just a little impromptu thing, uh, there's, there's a game, uh, an acting game, it's called Six Degrees of, uh, of Kevin Bacon. And I'm just wondering if everybody here, whoever's been touched by cancer, knows somebody uh, that's a cancer, just raise your hand. I just was curious. I don't think there's anything more to say. Did your cameras see everybody? Wait, show everybody with their hand raised that's been affected by cancer. So I just think it's something that, that everyone should get involved with. I usually don't do things like this, but now I'm, I'm calling myself out on it. Uh, the other thing you mentioned, Goodfellas, uh, and that's when my mom died of cancer. Today I just found out that uh, the field for, in Field of Dreams is up for sale. And since Major League Baseball is becoming a part of it, just one guy talking, an idea, maybe you guys should buy the Field of Dreams. <laughs> and then, and then, then you donate, then anybody who comes to the field, you donate that money and it'll go to the, keeping the field and also to donating money to, to this cause. Uh, <laughs> if I had the money, I, I would do it. But uh, if Lord gives me a job, they go away. <laughs> I think that's it. Also, from what I gather, Major League Baseball is a part of this, but the San Diego Padres is the first team to give money. Woo! This being a competitive uh, uh, field that you all are into, I I'd like to throw down a challenge to all the other Major League teams to stand up and do the same thing that the uh, San Diego uh, Padres are doing. 